So last time in order to get our app fully set up on Heroku, we had to install a Postgres database. I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but Heroku does not support SQLite, which is why we had to set up Postgres in the first place. So to recap, we created the database using this command here, this Heroku add-ons command. And then we had to promote that database to the primary database which basically establishes it as the database URL environment variable. And we did that by running this command here, this Roku PG promote. So let's go ahead and confirm that the database is actually there. So we open up our terminal here and it is Roku config grep and then Roku Postgres SQL. You can see that there is a database associated with our app, and this is the database name here, and this is the URI. And since we're on the free tier, I believe we're allowed 10,000 rows of data and either 10 or 20 concurrent connections. So of course, that's not bad for being free. Can't really complain there. And at the very end of the last video, you saw that our app was getting a 500 internal server error. So let's quickly look at why that is. So if we run the app locally, with Python app.py, and we can log in with admin and admin. And once we're logged in, you can see that we're querying the database and then displaying the data here. So all is well and good locally, but on the remote production server, there's no data and there's no schema in the database, which is obviously a problem. So if we open up our app on Heroku, I'll go ahead and kill the server there and do Heroku open. Again, you can see the 500 error. So let's go ahead and hit the endpoint for log logging out. You can see that the app is working. Then when we do log in with admin and admin, again, you see that 500 error. So at this point, we know when our app is trying to query the database. And since there is no data there, we need to add some. So how do we do that? Well, there's actually two different ways that I know about that we can, we can do that. So you could dump the schema and data directly from our SQLite database that's running locally. And we could dump that into a SQL file and then upload it to our Postgres database on Heroku. Or we could create the schema and add data just like we did locally in a previous video. And we would do that by running this script here, this db underscore create dot py. And that would pull in our model here, which is blog post. So let's go ahead and do that latter method so we can mimic what we did locally. So to do that, we first need to install the Python bindings for Postgres, which is a handy little library called PsychoPG2. So let's go ahead and pip install that. So pip install. So I actually already have that installed. So now I'm going to go ahead and just add it to the requirements.txt file. So when we push our new code up to Heroku, it'll install that new requirement. So pip freeze requirements.txt. Let's open up requirements.txt. And there is our library there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and commit those changes. Let's add them. Commit, added psycho pg2, and then let's do a git push Roku master. Cool, so now our updated code is on Roku, and it looks like I already pushed up code that had psycho pg2 installed. On your end, you're going to see it install that library. So now let's go ahead and run that db create file on Heroku. So to do that, we can use this Heroku run command. And again, run is used to run one-off scripts. So Heroku run, Python, db 
create.py. And this command will go ahead and set up the schema that's associated with our blog post mod model, and it's going to add data as well. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to go back to our app here and refresh. Boom, it works. So now the schema has been added to Postgres, and we have data in there. Let's look at one more thing. So you can also add data right from the terminal to Postgres. So to do that, we can just enter the Python terminal. So Heroku run and then Python, or I'm sorry, the, this is going to enter the uh, Python shell. And so now we can use the same commands that we did before when we did this locally in a previous video. So we can do db session dot add blog post, and then let's have the title just be hi, and then let's say this is my first post on Heroku. Go ahead and close this out. Okay, so DB is not defined, so we need to import that. So from app import DB, and we can run the, you actually you can actually see the commands here. So DB session dot add blog post, and then following the model. So we want to enter a title and then a description. So that's the title, that's the description. So high is going to be the title, description is this is my first post on Roku. And I need to import the models or the model too. I'm in all kinds of trouble today. Okay. And then we can do that commit. So db session dot commit. Go ahead and exit out. Go back here, refresh, and you can see our post right here. Hi, this is my first post on Heroku. Cool. All right, so that's it for this video. Next time we're going to look at something awesome called test-driven development. Thanks for watching.